Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Taurus. Let's see what do we have for you. What do we have for Taurus, please? What do we have for Taurus? Show me, please. Okay. So we have Ace of Wands. King of Pentacles, Hierophant, your energy, Taurus, you might be dealing with another Taurus, Justice, Libra, energy, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, Knight of Swords, additional message, we have the Magician and Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, we have a Seven of Wands, so Taurus, you might be dealing um, with Virgo, Gemini, Libra and another Taurus. Okay, so let's take a look. Seven of Wands here as an overall energy for this week suggests here, Taurus, that um, I see you standing up for what you truly believe. It's like you are taking position and uh, it's like I feel that there is a situation where you kind of, you are very assertive, you know exactly what you want and you just don't want to compromise on, on this. And this is something that you truly believe in. And I feel that maybe during this week, you might feel that you need to be, um, it's like there will be a need for you to, de to defend your opinions and your views. Um, so we have Ace of Wands to the Five of Cups. Then we have a King of Pentacles and a Hierophant. I I'm seeing you being very determined to a kind of a to leave a certain situation in the past situation that brought sadness dissatisfaction and at the end I feel that at, at, at some it's like with the five of cups I feel that uh, you kind of at, at some point you, f you saw it as a lost opportunity for happiness but I'm seeing you being very very motivated uh, to move on with the Ace of Wands to take action in order to leave this energy in the past. We have a King of Pentacles and Hierophant. Well, this is very, very strong energy. It feels very strongly here, Taurus, for instance, um, when it comes to uh, finances, I see you being in a very good financial position. Okay, your finances will look really, really good. I see you here in a position of authority as well. This is very strong energy. This is enormous amount of stability. There is something here about structure. And for some of you, it might be from quite traditional household. And uh, I see something here about you wanting to approach a certain... It's like you have... It's like... I feel that you kind of see yourself uh, being very independent and very self-sufficient and for instance if you are from traditional household and of course it depends on your personal situation but it might be a case that uh, uh, your relatives or family kind of they don't want to meet you halfway um, they want to uh, it's like they have their views and uh, like they want you to, for instance, uh, follow the path that they chose for you, if I can say it that way. This King of Pentacles and the Hierophant can represent structure. This is like a, a tradition with the Hierophant and this King of Pentacles here can be, a, especially I'm getting very strong masculine energy who is like he's in charge and uh, it can be a father figure or grandfather or maybe uncle, you know. Either way, it's like this person here might see you. Um, it's like they kind of see you 
doing a certain thing in the sense of they it's like it would be ideal for 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 them that you would follow their path or something like this you know but i feel that a uh, you have your own views here and ideas how you want to uh, kind of uh, proceed in life you know that's what I am getting very strongly it's like you, you want to be independent you want to decide for yourself you know there is something here that you want and I feel that you are quite unstoppable really mm -hmm. but either way for some of you might be teacher okay or you are like um uh, you might be very successful here taurus you know um, because king of pentacles with the hierophant suggests that you might you might possess a certain amount of stability um you might be your own boss when it comes to for instance employment because king of pentacles represents employment I see you being in a very, very uh, stable, you know, secure position here. People really admire you. There is something here about respect. They really respect you and they really respect your views. Or it might be a case that people are coming and asking for your advice because uh, it's like you are a natural leader here, Taurus absolutely we have justice and ace of swords this is a very strong energy of a clarity that it's coming understanding certain things come to terms with certain uh, with regards to certain matters but most mostly this is like a triumph of justice and fairness for some of you if you are a kind of facing a, some sort of a legal situation i'm seeing very strongly that during this week you will receive a very important message or you know the outcome you exp it will be like a breakthrough outcome here for you um, because this ace of swords it's quite significant energy next to this justice card and i feel that you will be very that you will be very very happy with the outcome or what you're going to hear something here will play out to your advantage and it's like you will know exactly what to do next if it's nothing to do with any you know legal situation i'm seeing here that um someone is coming to balance things out with you and they really want to clear the air and it's like they have an idea how to do it and it feels very strongly that it will manifest during this week three of wands to the nine of swords mm -hmm. uh, well I, that's what i was getting it's like you know exactly what you want ace of wands ace of swords king of pentacles and knight of swords it's like i feel that you're unstoppable and please take it how it resonates but there is something here that you truly want and you are ready to take a uh, the leap of faith to take a risk and you know to just go for it i see it with this knight of swords and three of wands yeah i feel that you know you have your eyes on the prize and you see that goal and you know that it's there and it's like I f i'm getting from this energy i know it's there I just need to go for it it's like it's within reach I'm also getting with the knight of swords and three of wands someone here is going to chase you Taurus we're going to uh, clarify this reading for you in a second but this person here I feel that they are kind of a um, you know they how can I say this is someone I feel who is a, who is thinking a lot about you it's like they might be spying on you uh, i feel this person is very curious about you in a sense spying you know checking your social media trying to figure out what you're up to and what's going on in your life um, but um, they are planning this is the most important i think thing here that has to be emphasized they are planning because they want to approach you additional message we have a magician and a queen of pentacles yeah you're manifesting stability for some of you you manifesting your divine counterpart king of pentacles and queen of pentacles mm -hmm. you're manifesting it for some of you you know there is someone that you truly truly want and i can tell you here that uh you are very powerful and that's what i was getting 
from the very beginning of this reading. And therefore, uh, you, are, you might be manifesting a relationship with this person. Well, I can tell you here that King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, this is a match. So you might feel that this person is your divine counterpart and it feels like they are. For some of you, you are just manifesting your soulmate. Someone that you're going to meet very, very soon. Okay, let's see, Taurus. Let's clarify your reading. Let's clarify your reading. Ace of Wands and the Five of Cups for Taurus, please. Why we have Ace of Wands and Five of Cups for Taurus, please? Five of Pentacles, Chariot, mm -hmm. and the Devil. Uh, you might be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, we have also Cancerian energy, Knight of, sorry, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm seeing you moving on. Moving on from uh, lies, control, um, from someone who's been very, very manipulative with this energy. Someone who, 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 who's been very possessive, um, very controlling as well. Someone who was lying. And this person, I feel, at some point they made you feel not good enough. And I feel they, re it's like I feel that they rejected you. Or they made you feel like being left out in the cold. That, that I feel that, you know, Taurus, um, you have your views, you have your opinions, and this person didn't take it into consideration. Now, it's like I'm seeing someone who might be, I don't know if it's the w right expression, but it's like gaslighting you, you know, when you tried to kind of put your point across, they were walking away or they were leaving the room or something like this. Someone who was quite avoidant and dismissive. I'm seeing you being very, very motivated to move on. Charity is all about progress, moving on. Uh, Ace of Wands, the same. This is just, you know, I feel that you have this idea, you want this, and you are ready finally to move on from that energy. Uh, this person that you might have dealt with, who was very, very controlling, manipulative, and uh, who had secrets and who was lying, um, it might have this person might have uh, heavy placements in Sagittarius, uh, Aries, or Leo. Okay, in their chart. King of Pentacles with the Hierophant, please. Why we have King of Pentacles and the Hierophant for Taurus? You might be dealing with Aquarius with the star seven of swords mm -hmm. queen of swords and we have seven of wands taurus angel number seven 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 jackpot prosperity uh, good luck and good fortune. Your mat is under a lucky star, Taurus. And there is no mistake that we had the star card because that's essentially what the star card really kind of means, that uh, your mat is here under lucky star and, and it feels very strongly that we have a double confirmation. Yeah, your guardian and your guardian angel is with you big time. You have divine presence in this reading. You have divine presence, sorry, in this reading. Because we have an angel number showing up for you. Actually, we have 7777. So, wow. So, this King of Pentacles with the Hierophant, it's clarified by the Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Seven of Wands. Yes, I feel that, you know, with the Queen of Swords, um, you've been, I feel that you've kind of, you've been thinking a lot about certain situation and it's like you see the situation for what it truly is 
and you know exactly what you want and that's it I don't feel that there is any chance for you to change your mind we have a seven of wands next to this queen of swords and this is a very assertive energy it's like I'm ready to defend my position here I know what I want and I'm going to do it seven of swords because what I am getting here is that hmm, um, and please take it how it resonates you know for your personal circumstances, stories, but Seven of Swords here suggests that someone might have promised you something, but at the end they didn't deliver. And it's like, at, I feel that at the end you might felt that this person played you. They promised something, they said that it will be different, but um, uh, it's like, they didn't keep that promise. And this person was sneaky, was two-faced, it's like they were telling you and trying to reassure you that this is exactly what's going to happen. Yes, yes, you have my word. But uh, they were acting completely differently behind your back. Mm -hmm. And so if you had some sort of form of falling out with this person, Page of Cups suggests here that they will try to kind of come forward and they will try to make an impression on you that they have really, really good intentions, that they mean well. That's what I am getting. And for some of you, it might be a family member. It might be a relative or person who is in a position of some sort of authority. But I'm seeing them approaching you. Trying at least. You know? Why the justice with the Ace of, so with the Ace of Swords for Taurus, please? Okay. So we have the Moon. Queen of Cups, and Nine of Wands. Okay. What we have at the bottom of the deck, Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with Pisces. Yeah. What I am getting with this uh, Justice and Ace of so yes ace of swords clarified by the moon queen of cups and nine of wands what i am getting here is that indeed there is like you might be quite emotional at the moment taurus you might be very deep in your emotions especially with the moon and the queen of cups but the moon suggests here that there is this element of uncertainty mm -hmm. and emotions might be running really really high it's like you have your doubts but you will, and I feel, okay, and I feel that this whole situation at the moment doesn't make you happy with the Four of Cups. I feel that you are waiting on something here, Taurus, and it's like you are waiting and you are bored with this because nothing is happening, and it, it's bringing essentially this energy of ugh, dissatisfaction or disappointment, something like this, or it just simply you feel that this situation is not working for you. But in general, I'm getting here that you are waiting on something. Nine of Wands. And with the Nine of Wands, it's like you are unsure of an outcome. And um, it's like you don't trust here something. Nine of Wands. I feel very strongly here that you, uh, you have your guard up, essentially. And you are very selective with your energy, especially... With your emotions you don't want people to see you being too emotional uh, and you have your reasons but this this thing that uh, you might be waiting on and actually you kind of bought with this with this you know energy of like you might be feeling that nothing is happening and it's oh my gosh when this thing will finally arrive or when I will know something about the situation because with the moon again you might feel that oh i don't know about this it's like it's like it feels like there is some sort of lack of clarity and you might have doubts regarding a particular situation however i can tell you here with the justice and ace of swords during this week you will gain clarity because ace of swords is all about clarity and justice here will be served you this situation that at the moment might make you feel really really kind of this might make you feel dissatisfied on emotional level or you feel bored or you feel that you just bought with because you need to wait so long 
and there is this uncertainty, um, the situation will change and you will gain clarity about this matter, essentially. And I feel that you can expect really a good outcome regarding this particular matter. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Taurus. Why the Three of Wands and Knight of Swords? Why the Three of Wands and Knight of Swords for Taurus, please? We have a page of cups, ten of swords, the death card and queen of wands. Page of swords at the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, uh, you might be dealing with a uh, Scorpio. Well, hmm. I'm seeing here with the ten of swords and the death card, something here ended between you and someone else. And it was, I feel like you kind of... I'm getting that impression like I'm done. I don't want to deal with it. And I feel that, you know, it's like in a certain kind of level, you might feel some sort of form of betrayal from this person's side. Or it's like this person metaphorically saying stabbed you in the back, but I feel that there was a very, very emotionally painful ending between the two of you. Uh, Queen of Wands here suggests that um, this person might have put you in a third party situation, Taurus. Okay. Uh, you might have found out they, that they actually uh, directed their focus on someone else. Well, I can tell you here one thing. If you resonate with this message this is someone who is spying on you with the page of swords they are trying to figure out what's going on in your life what you're up to this person is thinking a lot about you page of cups page of cups suggests here that this person will reach out or they will send you a text or a message and it's like they will try to kind of again come across as someone who has good intentions you might receive even message of affection um, and this is someone here who will chase you who will chase you. It wouldn't surprise me, Taurus, that for some of you, you will find out from this person that something here didn't work out with that third party. And it's like this person will try to express some sort of form of remorse and regret, really, that, you know, uh, that, they, that they made a wrong decision or they... It's like, I feel this person will tell you that they... Uh, that they chose a wrong person or something like this. Mm -hmm. you can expect here that someone will chase you who put you in some sort of third party situation and it was uh, quite uh, I feel that you know it it wasn't easy I will say that way but this person it's like this person will say that this experience really changed them they went through transformation um, and again, it feels that they will try to express some sort of form of remorse and they would want it to apologize, I feel. But I'm not seeing full apology. It's like th th this person would rather talk about the situation. But, you know, from time, it's like they will be very, very sweet and very cute and very nice. And, and, but I'm not seeing a huge apology. I'm seeing them kind of, it's like a confession here. I'm seeing them confessing to you that they have regrets. And, you know, someone who, you know, regrets that some sort of choice or decision that they've made at the time that really affected this connection. That's what I am getting. And this person here will be uh, very consistent because knight of swords suggests that this person wants to tell you something they feel that something needs to be addressed and they're going to chase you so you can expect something like this also uh, that might take place uh, in a very 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 near future or even immediate future taurus taurus i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time 
I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and, and week. <laughs> and once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.